little giggles, Lee. My name's Martha and I'm going to give you a tour of the nursery today. Come along and have a look. Here is our little babbler's room. This is our 0 to 16 month old room. This is a no shoe zone, purely based for hygiene reasons for our little ones that are crawling around on the floor. Our nursery is also a no mobile phone zone. This is to safeguard all our children while we're here. If you'd like to come on, come on in and have a look. Here in our little babbler's room, we enjoy the luxury of having free flow rooms. This means that our babies can access the outdoor area whenever they wish. Come and take a look. We have the luxury of amazing outdoor spaces at Lee. Here is the under twos garden and as you can see it's a fantastic resource for our little ones. Here you can see in the teepee our little fellow here is fast asleep enjoying outdoor play in the sun. How wonderful. Over here we've got our crawl through tunnel. Again you can see our children developing their physical skills here which is fantastic. Let's go back inside and enjoy the rest of the little babbler's room. In our little babbler's room, it's custom made for all our babies up to the age of 16 month old. We've got a variety of resources which support their physical, mental and healthy well-being. So over here in the corner, we have a fantastic sensory resource. It's a den where the children can go in and explore and inside there's a light that changes multiple colours, which is gorgeous for the babies. Here is our sleeping coracles so that the babies, when they want to have a sleep, can come in and access these and have a little nap should they wish to do so. We're also encouraging lots of physical development in here. We've got our fantastic rainbow steps where the children can learn how to walk, be comfortable and go up and down different um, depths. Over here, we have sensory and construction and um, some small world in here to get them built up for their imaginative skills for later on in their learning. Over here, we've got some fantastic natural holistic resources and some amazing sensory resources. This is to develop children's holistic learning and intellectual development at this early age. Over here, we've also got the crawling sand tray, which is an amazing resource for the children to have a full body experience to really get into developing their senses. We also have a messy table, which is currently being utilised for puppets and books, which we also enjoy getting very messy with paint, sticking and other malleable resources. Over here, we've got some interesting exploration resources where the children can get really stuck into finding ways to problem solve, to fit things together and to um, use them as open ended resources. In here, particularly, it's very routine based on what you're doing at home. So whatever you're doing at home, we will do here. If you need so many bottles a day, we will prep them at nursery and we will give them to your child at the time you specify. If you are also breastfeeding, that's not a problem. Just bring that into nursery and we can store it here. We kindly ask parents to provide bottles and um, formula powder and we will make those here at nursery. In regards to routine, all the meals are set at certain times here, but no need to worry because if you um, miss meal times, we can provide an alternative at such a young age or we can reheat their meal for them if it's safe to do so. We also offer sleeps whenever your child needs to sleep. So that is something that is completely up to you. Let us know and our key workers will marry your routine at home. In here we also have our own private bathroom area so that nappies and intimate care can take place in that area and safe, safely and securely for the children. So next we're going to go to our one to two room which is our little gigglers, follow me. So here is our little gigglers room, again this is a no shoe zone, um, this is our one to twos, let's come on in and take a look. So this is our one to two room. In here, it is open, airy and absolutely splendid. In here, we've got our construction and small world area coupled together so that the children can integrate the two areas together to support imaginative play. We have a wide and vast variety of sensory resources in here to develop that intellectual learning and open-ended thought process for our little ones. We're building up on physical skills here. So we've got this amazing indoor climbing frame equipment. This is a wonderful resource to build early physical development in our children, to build up those muscles and also to develop awareness of our bodies, what we can do and appropriate safe risk. Over here, we have our wonderful messy area. This is where all the lovely glue, paint, sticking, all those fantastic malleable activities take place. 
We've also got an array of tabletop activities to encourage small concentration periods to develop that concentration ready for the two to three room. Over here we have our sand and water trays which is specifically designed to be next to each other so the children can combine the resources. Further on round here we have our lovely role play area. It's really important that children of this age get a chance to develop their skills in imagination purely based on replaying activities from home, learning about different job roles and where they sit in today's world. Moving on to this area over here, we have a lovely book corner which is nice and cosy for the children and a nice place where they can come and relax should they need a quiet minute to themselves or a little rest. We also have puppets for imaginative play and recreating simple stories such as That's Not My Monkey. In here we have our own toilet facilities and just through the door around there we also have our nappy changing facility. In here we have low level toilets which are specific for the children so that they can sit down at an appropriate height for them. It's not a pressure to learn how to toilet train. So next we will be going into our little chucklers room, come and join me. A few things that you might notice in our corridors are these wonderful wallets on the wall. These contain children's artwork books which will be filled with the children's artwork from the time that they start with us till the time that they go to school. These are an excellent um, memory book for children to take and discuss at home with parents. Here are also our pegs, your child will have their own peg and you can put their belongings on the peg. So. Let's go into Little Chucklers. So this is our Little Chucklers room. This is one of our two to three rooms. We have the other two to three rooms directly adjacent from this room. So first off, when you walk in, we've got this lovely role play area for children to engage in imaginative role play, home-based learning, where they bring in that into nursery and also learning about different occupancies around the world. Over here, we have our maths area. As you can see, we've got loads of building resources, triangles, shapes, all learning about shape, space and measure. We've also got lovely equipment in this drawer here, which includes um, counting resources, also measuring resources and more shapes. Over here, in this area, we've got small world and construction. Again, we've pulled the two areas together so children can have a full imaginative experience and combine the two media. Over here, we've got our knowledge and understanding of the world area. We've got many sensory resources from around the world and things that we see in our natural garden. And we've also got lots of media from around the world to teach the children about things that are outside of their front door. We've got this amazing puppet stand resource here, which encourages children in our literacy area. Our literacy area provides all the tools that our children need to succeed in reading and writing in the early stages. We've got lots of fantastic books that children can enjoy with their key worker or fellow practitioners. On this resource stand here, we've also got lots of mark making, which we can bring into early literacy, encouraging children to create lines and circles, getting ready to start forming letters in the preschool room. Over here on this fantastic lino area of the room, we've got sand and water, which enables the children to combine both medias with them being together. We've got a tough tray that the children can explore. This is changed weekly based on children's interests and their own ideas. Over here, we've got the fantastic painting area, crayons, anything that's malleable, paint, sticking, gloop, it's all here for the children to explore at their own pace. We've got child size sinks in each of our rooms so that children can independently go and wash their own hands after they've finished. Again, we've got low level bathrooms and toilets for the children to explore. I'm going to take you outside now to explore our free flow outside area. This is our custom made area for our two to threes. Let's have a look around, okay? So while we're out here, we've got a wonderful role play resource here. The children can turn it into whatever they wish. We've also got a fantastic um, imaginative train where the children enjoy taking us on weird and wonderful trips. We've also got our lovely climbing frame here to develop climbing skills, physical skills, and strength skills in our two to threes. Outdoor play is really important to us here at Little Giggles. In order for us to access outdoors in all weathers, we've politely asked parents to provide sun cream and sun hats so we can enjoy this glorious sun. 
In the wet weather, we also ask parents to provide wellies. We provide outdoor suits so our children can enjoy the best of what British weather has to offer. Next, we're going to go inside if you'd like to follow me and we'll have a look at Little Laughters. Here is our second two to three room, Little Laughters. Let's take a look. In our Little Laughter room, we have a similar layout to our Little Chucklers room. This is for continuity and for all round development of our children. Here we have our role play area as we did in Little Chucklers. This is to promote imaginative skills and role play based learning, incorporating knowledge and understanding of the world in expressive arts and designs. So as we move around the room, we move into our literacy area. Um, this is to encourage children for early writing skills, recognising letters, early initial sound recognition, and obviously learning to hold a pen properly, getting ready to move into our preschool room. We've also got this amazing puppet stand for imaginative literacy telling stories. We've also got books laid out here and on here for the children to freely access as they wish. We also use books as a lovely group time experience for our children in which they thoroughly enjoy incorporating the puppets as well. Here is our fantastic post box which we have in our two to three rooms and our preschool room. This is to encourage children to want to write letters maybe to Santa, to Easter Bunny, to mums and dads to share their experiences of life. Over here we've got our knowledge and understanding area which is encouraging children to explore the world around them we've got an array of resources here you can see that we've got our light board set out encouraging recognition of colors shapes and sizes we've also got role play here which is also incorporating day-to-day -day occupations into children's play moving on to the small world and construction area We've got lovely resources which resemble home learning as well as new learning for the children to come and explore with us at Little Giggles Lee. Moving on to our math resource over here, we've got this amazing abacus. Not only is this for numbers, it's also colour recognition. It's fantastic for group work, encouraging children to take turns and learn about language of size, quantity and amounts. So if we move over here, this is our complete maths area. We've got numerous resources to help children learn about shapes, space, size, and obviously counting. We also do simple addition and simple subtraction in here, getting them ready for more complex maths in the preschool room. Moving on to the lino area, we've got this fantastic sand and water adjacent to each other so that the children can combine the media. We've also got early mark making on these tables here, which incorporate paint, sticking, every malleable resource you can imagine. We also have tough spots, which are for children to come and join in with. Children can set them out themselves, or it can be adult led, encouraging children to follow their, their interests. When key workers plan for children, it's purely based on their learning. We ask parents to join in with us at home through what's called a parent zone app. You can get this app through your app store on your mobile phones and download it to your device. Parent Zone is really important for parents to get involved in day-to-day -day life here at Little Giggles. Our key workers will post numerous posts on there that you can access at home. This includes photographs, videos, information about the child's day, such as nappies, sleeps, if they've been unwell. Also includes meals, so you know exactly what your child's had while they're here with us, observations, assessments and baseline and two-year checks. We would love to have parent involvement from home, so please download the app. Okay, so as we're moving around the room, you can see that all the sinks are low level in every room so that children can access activities as they wish, because all we want to do is promote child-led learning. So next up is our preschool room, if you'd like to follow me. Here is our preschool room. I'd just like to draw your attention to our stay and play poster. We do have a variety of open days throughout the year, including craft mornings and also stay and plays. We also have open days, which we would love parents to come along and be a part of. If you can't make it yourself, can grandma, granddad, aunt, uncle come into nursery and be a part of nursery life? We would love that. Let's go on into the preschool room. So this is our fantastic room for our three to five year olds. In here, we're very much getting children ready for school. It's very important that they've got basic maths and literacy knowledge and understanding to enable them to progress 
better in school. So in order to do that, we've got a specifically designed room to support all of the main areas of learning within the Early Years Foundation stage. Here is one of our fantastic resources here, which is a wonderful area for sensory development, relaxation, puppet and book exploration. Have a look inside. So coming out of our reading area, we've got excellent provocation play here, which encourages children to think outside the box, pull everything that they know about life and decipher what they feel is right for this box. Children can then depict that here in this book and share their ideas with their peers. Moving over to this wonderful construction and small world area, children can really get into imaginative world and small world play. We combine the, the medias to encourage a variety of imaginative play. Over here we've got our combined maths and literacy area. This is really getting children to concentrate, get that early fine manipulative skills that they need in order to progress onto early reading and writing. When children are ready to start writing their name and they've got good pencil control, we will do that with them here, getting them ready for name writing in school. Over here we've got extensive tables for additional crafts and additional small world or additional literacy. It's really important that we combine these areas together so that children have a wealth of knowledge behind them and that they know how to combine media to create wonderful things. Over here we've got our amazing dressing up area. This is fantastic so that children can put on shows, they can design their own dance moves, their own imaginative world and present it to the group, developing strong self-confidence and self-esteem skills in our young children. Moving over here, we're moving into our role play area. This is where children can explore roles that they know from around the world already, including what's in their own home. From here, we move into the creative area. Again, in here you will see our fantastic letterbox where children can learn to write letters. We've also got lots of media here. We've got a fantastic tough trait, again, that children can ask for, children can make and children can actively be a part of. We've also got painting, sticking, stamping, glue, chalk, just to name a few. We've got fantastic resources here at the touch of our fingers. In here, we've got our toilet area, so children can actively go into the toilet and learn how to use it appropriately. Whatever you're doing at home, we will support children. We have low level toilets specifically to aid children in toilet training effectively. If you wish us to do what you're doing at home, just let us know and we'll put it into practice with your key worker. Moving on over here, this is an exploration station, so currently we've got plants set up. This encourages children to learn about understanding of the world and make sense of it all in an orderly fashion. We've also got sand and water trays here, which also cross over as malleable trays. Again, they are close together so that children can combine the media and make their own open-ended play. I'd like to take you outside if you would like to come with me for free float access. This is our preschool outdoor area. Again, this is a custom made space specifically designed to encourage children's physical and whole well-being. Out here we have this fantastic boat sand pit which encourages imaginative play as well as sensory exploration. Over here we have a fantastic car wash for the children to take the bikes and trikes through experiencing the real world that surround them. We also have a water tray or a malleable tray so children can come out and explore messy play while they're out here. We've also got our own mud kitchen, come shop, come whatever the children would like to turn it into. It's an open-ended resource that children can explore at their own pace. Over here, we have a ball run or a water run. Children have to work together to figure out how to put the pieces together to make the ball or the water flow effectively. An excellent personal, social and emotional skill that children need to learn and develop. Over here, we've got the balancing bridge, which again encourages balancing and physical skills for all our children, as well as working out, turn taking, and which way is an appropriate way to go. In our outdoor space, we've also got our bug house, which we encourage bugs to come and use as their habitat. This encourages us to teach children about the natural world that they find around them, and obviously the mini beasts of the world. Now, I'm going to take you inside and the last room that we're going to see before we finish our tour here is the sensory room. 
Here is our sensory room. This space is custom made to support children with special educational needs and disabilities, children who may be experiencing difficulties with expressing themselves and also just for children to purely enjoy. So in here we've got this fantastic resource which is sensory based and also problem solving based to encourage that time and patience and that time to calm down. Over here we've got wonderful sensory exploration boards. We've got our light panel and sound panel. So as you can see, as I'm raising my voice, the sounds are changing. This is to encourage children to tune into listening, volume and sound. Over here, we've got a visual tunnel, which changes from the angles that you look at, encouraging children to look at the world differently. We've got our wonderful floor panels down here, which encourage early mark making. As you can see, I'm just gently pushing that and it's creating different marks, encourages those children who are a little bit more reluctant, reluctant to join in, in early mark making to explore. Over here, we've got simple sensory toys and up here, we've got an amazing disco ball for indoor dancing. So over here, we've got our lovely bubble tube, which changes colour. So it has its own control panel and the children can press the buttons and it changes the colour of the bubbles helping children to learn about colour. It also helps children who are coming down from a stressful situation to be calm and relaxed. Down here, you can see that we've got this lovely fluorescent fibre optic light. Now over here in the corner, we've got that ultraviolet light. When it shines, it creates vibrant colours for children with visual impairments to support sensory exploration. Over here, we've got this wonderful ceiling fibre optic light, which encourages babies to have a full sensory exploration. They can lay underneath and explore. It's also ideal for children of an older age to sit directly underneath and explore the sensors around them. We've got mirrors positioned around the room so children can fully see and become encompassed in what they are learning about here in the sensory room. We want children to be able to gain a nice rest and a sleep while they're here. In order for the children to do that, we have a sleeping room. Come on in. So in here, as you can see, we've got beds laid out ready for children to sleep. Children have their own blankets and they have their own bed bag here, which is fully labelled up so that we know exactly whose is whose. Unfortunately, at this time, when we've got the coronavirus pandemic, we're not allowing parents to bring in sleeping things. If you wish for your child to have a sleeping blanket that is their own from home, we will have to keep it at nursery and we will wash and sterilise it appropriately here. As you can see, we've got loads of beds, so no matter how many children we've got sleeping, we've got lots of them for the children to get out. We also encourage colour choosing so children can choose a colour that they would like to sleep on to help children settle and feel more comfortable with us. Last but not least, thank you for coming along on our virtual tour. We hope you've enjoyed looking around our fantastic facilities here at Little Giggles. If you like what you see and you would like to book your child in, please contact us on the number below on, or the email address supplied and we will be in contact with you with registration forms and how to proceed with your bookings. We hope to see you soon.